Welcome back to the war what wad emerald. Uh, and on this part, it has been over one year since I last recorded <laughs> the last four parts. As you probably heard, as you probably heard from the other things, but but good news. First off, we got we got patron guest uh, Kilo is back because he gave us enough money <laughs> over that past year or two. <laughs> and I managed to I managed to reincarnate MBM. He's back. Reincarnate me? When when did I die at last? Wait, how did I die? Oh my god, this is exactly how it would work because you wouldn't remember. <gasps> I am a new one. <laughs> I'm sure See, remember be, be, because you 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 died in parts two to four. That makes. And you were talking to your ghost, and nobody heard you. Oh, there was a. Geez. This is what happens. Like I need to actually watch things on the internet nowadays. I I got too involved in the real world, and we all know how great and awesome that's going. That yeah. Who knows? Maybe I should go back to the escapism of online fantasy. <laughs> Yeah, so even though even though you were technically here for the first four parts for the audience, you were only here for that first part. So basically you've only been here once. So essentially w w everything you talk about in this part will be a set, uh, will be basically brand new. So don't worry about repeating yourself. Just basically to act as if this is the first time you've been in a part in a Mad World part. God, this is awesome. I've always wanted to be the Kate Sith of a playthrough. <laughs> oh, Yo, bravo. You also have the explosion effect added to it. Why not? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> because I kept getting hit by the. I'm surprised that that still killers. counted as a hit though, even though it's already fallen. Yeah, I know. I was running up because I was like, "Oh, it's fine," and then I just stayed extra away this time as it fades away, just like the havoc engine. All right. I mean, I know they're not. It's not where the whole motif of fighting a dragon on a bridge. Like I know. It didn't originate with this idea, but it always reminds me of Kingdom Hearts 2. It always reminds me of Zaldan fight, and just fighting a whole dragon made of spheres on a bridge. And just that little area right there kind of reminded me of that, of that part of that game as well. Um, well, sadly, we don't get to fight a whole dragon made of spheres. We have to fight a whole succubus made of vampire, uh, vampire bats. So, so it is made of bats. It is a succubus, though, like, as opposed to just a female vampire, as opposed to like a, a vamp. Yeah. Or, uh, okay. I mean, it is true. If you're gonna go sexy, it has uh, succubus is basically your uh, <laughs> your monster of choice to go with, I guess. I mean, it works, to, works great for Capcom. To figure out the difference, it's just that a, a succubus is just a vampire, just way more horny for men. It's horny for D. And we got the commentators talking about her. <laughs> Awesome rack, though. <laughs> so it's been a long time since I like since I recorded this footage and played it, but I, I do remember that. Do your she, best, child. Oh, I don't remember that. Footage. I remember she gave me a lot. She gave me a lot of trouble when I. I, when I played. had the hardest time figuring. Okay, it was it. I think it was during her second hit. I don't know yeah. why I could not find her for the life of me. So she rehealed all of her health, and I had to struggle. Yep. Yeah. This is actually, I think, I, th I think this is my second time doing it because I remember I played it and she kept like leaving and disappearing. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And I had to, I had to look up a YouTube guide just to be like, oh, she's hiding in one of the things. So I was yeah. like, oh, that's that's what you're supposed. And to normally do. it's obvious, but like the one time where she actually hit herself while well, I couldn't find her and she regained all of her health. Oh no, because she's a vampire and immortal. I got it. Wow, oh, you did a lot of damage. I was not expecting that. I think it's what I realize is just 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 keep slash just keep slashing the her and the bats with your with, with your with your thing and then yeah. you win. It, it seems like for the key for success in this boss fight is to remember go for more crowd control based slashes. Like even though it is a boss, think of it more of a crowd and how you would handle it. Okay, see, so probably the most <laughs> sexual. That was the most. Yeah, obvious. this is the Ooh. this. You expose her cleavage for the world to see. Oh, okay. the shame, the gratuity, the physics. But Jack, Jack doesn't care about well, that. J J Jack's pretty asexual in this game. Like, yeah, he really is. When he's hired, he, he seems he's very professional in this game. You know, with all the murder and stuff, but a very professional video game character, I'd say. 
fuck. I was about to say, Jack is very murder sexual. He doesn't care anything about killing. He doesn't care about anything except killing. Do we actually see him, though, get aroused by it? Like, I mean, he's satisfied, mm. I, I, I guess. But, yeah, I was like, gonna say. don't really see him, like, get off. There's not, it's not in the same sense, like, you know, Travis touchdown in in the heroes. Like, you, you see that that character clearly gets off on more than just the job. Like, there's parts he enjoys. Like, he gets pleasure. Like, you, with Jack as a character in this game, like, He's very focused. There's not really. I mean, you still get the personality through and how he interacts with characters. He's not just like just the hired hand there, but um, I mean, I just think it's just kind of interesting there, at least with how many sexual bosses there are in this game. Because um, well, I wanted to bring this up. What do you guys think of the fact that they reused uh, li uh, the the last female boss fight music? Because I can't remember if it's Ling Ling or Mimi or Ren Ren or Rai Rai. I don't remember either. I, 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 forget, I forget who the artist is, but yeah, it, it is the same boss. Yeah, because I, I think there's maybe only, like, three... Like, I think there's, like, three of, like, the themes that they use for the bosses that they re... re might be might be three or four. But yeah, I do know that they, that they... Each of them, they do play it multiple times. I don't think it's, like, every single one has a unique theme. Yeah. And, and, and to oh, be and fair... This. Oh, because oh. well, because she's naughty, guys. Because she's a naughty. She's been bad. And oh lord! Okay. The she's probably still alive. Like, like, <laughs> no, she's notice dead. the like whole. Notice the bat symbol and like the, uh, the freaking stained glass think, as well too. Yeah. I think she's dead because you got to remember there wasn't much around the cathedral. So I think she fell oh, to her death. Right. She probably, yeah, fell. She fell. Especially yeah, that's fun. Somebody oh, she's in the void. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> like, Jimmy, you can't really, like, go like, hey, that's kind of grotesque. Like, no, all of these characters, yeah, they're all fucking dead. Like, that's the goal of the game is to make yeah. all these other characters be dead. Oh, Status right, this... needs to end with death. I forgot about this plot twist. It's like, oh, he has to go save the mayor's daughter, and it's like, oh, the mayor's daughter is in on it. Yeah. You bitch. Well, I this mean... That's, that's something... Too, you, Naomi? Sorry, you go. Your father no, I was just gonna say, the, the, there's a lot of plot twists in this game that you kind of don't expect from this kind of game. Being a more, True. like, action-styled action game based around murder and stuff, like, the amount of plot twists there is in this game is kind of insane, especially uh, when we get to, like, the final act. I give credit to Platinum Games. I feel they've kind of earned the setup of that, that because they lean so hard into the campy gratuitousness of their setup, it's what allows the game to, you know, even consider having uh, freaky plot twists in it. Because cause let's be honest, when you start with your premise that, you know, murder games, like, you know, you kind of already eliminate a lot of p potential twists. Because for most things, you know, a murder in and of itself can just be a twist. Uh, but for this game to be set up that it can do all of these, you know, types of betrayals and setups and payoffs, a lot of it is leaned on how, at the start, you have, um, you have the setup, the murder game, and you don't expect that's gonna be, like, this whole power play of, of class structures and stuff, so, kudos to Platinum Games, always seen it in ya, I'm always seeing ya. Have the mayor taken into custody. Roger. No, no, Jack. My father has Arrest the mayor. This. Defund the police. And Do it now. Jack has no respect for women. You get off uh, on, <laughs> You get off on a murder Apparently game, you will fight you. Here. What about the girl? You're right. So what do you guys think of like this whole uh, imagery <laughs> thing of the, the silhouette people? No. Well, I mean, it, 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 it's it's literally taken from Sin City. Like they they, they do that all the time of just like yeah, the, the the crowds of people that are like yeah, covered in white, and they use that as very uh, symbolic in the sense. I mean, the, like I, I think the, mo the most obvious image is that is from the customer. Uh, the customer is always right, where they use that to like kind of symbolize like the the, the higher like the, the, those are like the higher class of people like from like far away in the buildings. Like it's like oh, you can only just you can only just barely see their outline. Oh, they rather instead of their silhouette outline in black it's in white yeah and i mean it, it just so it's good that it still represents the same thing throughout it but it is just kind of more poignant that mad world is a class conscious game and that I, I know that is just more because it's based off off the running man and it's just that a lot of people miss that running man is about a bunch of 
rich ass people making a bunch of desperate people do desperate things for entertainment. And, but I, I love it in the context and all the, the extremes that they go with it in, in Mad World. Uh, I, thought we had I mean, it's not, like I said, so heavy-handed. Most people so probably kind of see it as reading too much into it, it to see those type of themes. But uh, I, I like how this game kind of handles I've being a very conscious game of that. That it, it is the, the fact that the mayor's daughter, like you know, you ha you would think that you know that in, you have that innocence associated with it, but when you really think about it, it's like where does where would that align you class wise? Like well, upper class, like then okay, it makes sense. Like it, it fits with all of the the themes in this game. We had some bids over the hundred thousand mark. Should we remove Jack? Yeah, like, like we mentioned before, it, it's basically it, it's he basically the Running Man, player. it's Battle Royale, it's the Hunger well, Games, it's all of these, it's fight. all of these like, no. it, it's a it's a de de death game. race. It, it's all these Audience like, oh, to make people make people fight each other, make people fight and kill each other to death for the entertainment of the rich. And it's all those same kind of narratives. And what's always weird is that people always have this assumption that those stories are about like the nature of humanity. That like, well, all these people must have murder games because they must like murdering, but like like to just go back to it it's never because of that the, in all of those examples that you gave stuff the, the the people that participate are desperate like the, the, there's the desperation either in that that like they need it for their livelihood they need it for like for food or for just like because like the government says do it or we're gonna open fire on everyone like there's always just that that desperation that you know these murder games don't just come because you know people like to stabby no, it's bitch. it's always and if that is, those usually tend to be the poorer taste work. of that genre. Work. Usually, the gooder taste have that better take. That you know, humanity can be desperate because structures and class divide can create these really awful situations. Yeah, or or you can look at something like the Purge, the, the all, all the Purge movies. That as well. All about which is all about that like cleansing of the lower class. Yeah, even, especially that, like, that's even the more poignant, like, example that, again, like, a lot of people look at those movies as like, oh, it must be about how grotesque and how violent humans are. That's why those purges occur. It's like, no, the purges only occur. It per their storyline because the society well, the, I, I, would, I would say, I would say, I would say the first movie kind of does that, but every other movie very much leads into the fact that, oh, no, this is all about, like, the rich fucking over everybody else. Like, like this, all the rest of this, the movies very much lean into that. Which you gotta love the glow up that the Purge franchise received with that. Like, bravo. Yeah. Way, way to, like, take take your premise and do some good with it. Good job. Oh, down for a bike section. Yeah, yeah I love the, I, lo I love these love. I think th this one, is, I know uh, this one took me a bit too long because it's one of those, you have to do a lot of, like, really fancy kills or else you're going to be stuck on this going for a long time just normally killing people. But, like, it, when, when it doesn't take too long, it's super fun. I'm yeah. just doing this. And causing so much again, I, think, I don't know why, but I, I think the AI just keeps crashing into the beams for some reason. Yeah. No, but this is this is one of the three motorcycle sections, right? Because there was one earlier in the game, and there's one that happens, I think, at the end of the game. Yeah. No, there, no, there, there are two. Uh, well, there, well, there are there are two. There are two of these levels, and uh, one of them ends with a boss. And I'm pretty sure that's Yeah, this is I don't this think... is the one that ends with the boss. We had the one. Well, we had still... the one on the bridge where we fought the. Uh, we fought, fought tornado man. Uh, yeah, that was the one. Killer. Yeah, 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 that was yeah, because there was a level, and then it led to the like, yeah, the regular where we fought the tornado guy, and then there's this. Yeah, so there's, there's only two. I, uh, wasn't there? I, wasn't there one at the end of the game? No, the uh, okay. Spoilers: the end credits is driving, but you don't actually move, or it's not a level; it's just credits. Oh, Spoiler yeah, alert: the ending credits of this game is the best part of this game. <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh yeah, forget the bloodbath challenges. You have to just run into the goalpost. Yeah. Just gotta murder yeah, and then the same the same thing with the but yeah it's in the same thing with the uh, with the uh, with the with the with the with the with the boss with the boss uh, thing too is that that one you also have to run into because they're just on the side so you can basically just keep driving and then skip both of these if you uh, miss. yeah but I think if, if uh, you can't clear the level or you know you'll have to take longer to even get everything 
Well, yeah, well, yeah. Ob well, obviously, like, it, like it'll end like after a certain time, like all of the rest of like the like oh, because you only have the time limit. But I mean, like, you can still like go on for like longer. Like, you don't have to automatically go once you unlock it. You can like it's kind of like in all the rest levels that once you unlock the once you lock the bell, you can still do a couple things to get more extra points if you feel like it. What do you guys? Again, what was that? I was just wanting to ask. Uh, what do you guys think of the sci-fi realness that this level shows us? Like, we have the the we had the enemies on the cars that looked very suspiciously stormtroopery. Bravo. Um, which is, I think, it's kind of weird. Like with this level, dude, it's mostly leaning to references wise, Star Wars wise, but it also doesn't really give uh, you like Star Wars would, like level wise. I would wise, the, but, like the even the announcers bring up. Like Star Wars shit, they bring up Jedi's, so it's like, huh. The next level is way more of a Star Wars reference, even with its boss. And even, yeah, and even then, that that one's only like a little bit Star. Like I wouldn't even say like they, they aren't as obvious Star Wars as they probably could be. I mean, like like because you have like the obvious like gray Martians here. Yeah. Like, the obvious, yeah, you have those. Close you, you have, you have a couple of, yeah. stuff like that. Paul, Paul now, because even like that's probably, yeah, Paul. He's more the solidification of like we like little gray men. That is what America thinks of aliens. So, like, I'm glad. Like, or, or, uh, or d d d destroy all, mo destroy all humans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so great. One and two. Yeah, those, those are great games. I yeah. love games where the genre is to destroy a 1950s town. So you have like <laughs> destroy all humans, and there was a Stubbs the zombie, I think, and that's where you just you know you basically oh, start the zombie apocalypse on a town. Like things like that. I all love right. games where my goal is to take one town of middle America, 1950, at the peak of the good old days, and you have this rose-colored veneer over it and just, like, tear it apart and just soak it in fire. Isn't, isn't there a Jaws game kind of like that? Oh, uh, what game? What? I'm sure all the Jaws game. games are that. I mean, oh, that's the point yeah. of Jaws. Yeah, I think, I think that it's was always like funny the... that Jaws and Halloween are the same movie. It's like, oh shit, it is. It's just about people being scared of something hurting them in where they live. It's like, oh no. I know mean, that's baking it down very basically, way too broadly, but still, Halloween and Jaws are the same movie. Fight me. I, I feel like the difference between the two is that because Jaws is all about like the the like the uh, the well I wouldn't say all about but like a main part of it is, is those three guys kind of hunting him down while I mean like I mean in Halloween kind of has uh, Loomis but he isn't really specifically hunting Michael down he's just kind of following him. Yeah, I mean I guess it just focuses more on again the hunter hunter relationship. Just which hunt are you focusing more on? Because yeah. it does focus more on you know Mike Myers' uh, hunt of the girl. Is what I'd say versus, like you said, the the hunters for the killer. I'm, I'm so I just learned so much in that little educational video. Like, thank you. Like that put three <laughs> years of my public education <laughs> to shame. I can get three thousand points, or was it thirty thousand? I don't know. Cooped public education is giving me my points. Nobody said there'd be math. <laughs> I blame our schools. When you do the commentary that's in the game over the game, yeah, yeah. that's because <laughs> okay, the, the announcers pretty much make this game like stand out. It's vile reason wondering why we even talking over this. Why you why you on here, random internet nerd? That's right, talking to you. No, it's your lunch break. And you're not even watching this. Well, we love you. We care about you. Well, you keep know, keep, you keep know, doing better. We love you. You want to know why? Because apparently. And literally everybody I talked to to try to ask if they want to be part of the LP. Apparently nobody has ever played this game, so it's like I'm I'm, I'm doing I'm doing this in order to um, this is a public service announcement to get people to play or at least like learn about this game. Please do because it's amazing. Yeah. And then we get the speed we up. Would... Yeah, we get the speed up because it's like oh I took a little bit. I don't want to like waste your time with this. I'm yeah. just doing the exact same thing. So eh, just go. That's a bit the faster, only problem with this. Oh, like while it's fun, it's like. It takes a while to get to the boss. Like, hint, yeah, that... hint, hint. If you're out there and you haven't played it, play it. If it inspires you to make a five-hour video of it and put it on the internet, do it. Please okay. send me the link and I will watch all five hours of it. <laughs> Apparently, that's like my ish nowadays. Making big reviews of a game. Well, just like watching them out of morbid curiosity. Sometimes they're oh, those those kinds of videos. Okay. Yeah. No, no, like, I know. I, I, they're, they're getting more frequent, like, I know it's sort of, if you don't like it, don't watch it, but it's like, 
but I want to watch them. I want to watch all of them. It's kind of gr- I don't know, but yay. If someone wants to make one about Mad World, please do. Yeah. I'm I'm always super like every time you have like some like like a project like like a project like this where it's like oh there, there's nothing there's nothing inherently like like quote unquote like interesting about e whether it's the production the design or whatever but it's like you can do a real in depth analysis that just like on every level about the gameplay about like what it stands for about like the 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 air the area in which the game came from and like what its yeah. influence was like I feel like if you take like something like this where it's like on normal circumstances most people would be like oh that's just that's just a random violent game. Well, which it's not, because, I mean, like you said, yeah. level structure-wise, even just how the game is structured is indicative of, like you said, what inspires it and what it was going for, because going back to Platinum Games, like, these are arcade developers. Like, they were inspired primarily by arcade-based games, so things that had, like, beat em up level structures, things versus thing, trying to get high scores, stuff, those types of... Uh, game design philosophies oh so like you can I, so like with this game and because like, even the mission based structure is a little weird for it but like it goes back to the fact that it's very arcade inspired that's why every level ends very neatly forcefully in a boss fight yeah i, I love i love this fight yeah I, this fight's great they really they, fight. they did a really good job of making them like a vehicle based boss fight this is the full motorbike experience like this is your reward for one play Mad World is that one, you get to play Mad World. Two, if you play Mad World long enough, it gets fucking rad. Yeah. Though it, it, it kind of makes me think about this boss in particular. is like knowing about the plot twist at the end of the game, or near the end, about what we learned about Jack. It kind of makes you think about this guy a bit more. Knowing that he just yeah. like... Oh, did you? Oh, you messed it up. Win? Oh, no. I didn't win. Oh, <laughs> no, but because no. like, I don't want to spoil it, but it's yeah. Knowing the big plot twist near the end about what we learn about Jack, it makes you think about was this guy just did he become him, or was he just like a guy who looks like Jack? There could be Jack clones. It could be what it's trying to lean into with this. Oh, because uh, we are fighting. Against, like I said, they're going pretty heavy on like just weird sci-fi references. So a clone or two, a test tube Jack doesn't sound too. Outlandish, especially with the uh, yeah, sponsorship. He has very yeah, yeah. He has very he oh. has very oh, pff, I died. Oh, he no. has very oh. winter soldier. He has very winter soldier esque aesthetics. Like you, you got you got you got all the stars. You got like the weird yeah. You got the weird uh, eye patch and like uh, cyborg arm. Oh, true, 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 true. All of those. So weird to put that again in like with your Star Wars. <laughs> level. I don't know. Like I said, this level is trying to give me a lot of different references, and it just—it's not super cohesive. So that's why I love that. Like most people, when they refer to this, they just say they're a 51 level, because like yeah. I mean, it, you it, wouldn't think that that would be the motorbike level with the motorbike boss with. Yeah, it's. <laughs> well, I mean, the Area 51 level is next, so. Oh, next. Yeah. yeah, and then we have the Area 51 boss essentially. Oh yeah, because I know it's not this guy. It's that, that's more mini boss. But this is the full boss. Yeah. For uh, for the tunnel level at least. And I love how you just throw your motorcycle at it. Yes. The only appropriate. Literally, and he has a backup. <laughs> he thinks he has a backup. He either had a backup or he pulled it out. Bike space. He did pretty average out there. Well, he didn't break any of my records. That's always a win in my book. <laughs> eight minutes, and I, I love those. That was an eight-minute level. Yeah.